my name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you so much for taking this time out of your day being with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming from. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Farah. I'm a makeup artist. I've started like five years ago and all on my own. Nobody helped. I didn't study what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm a self-taught makeup artist. And I'm so glad where I am now. Awesome. Let's dive into thinking Go Rich. I know you prepared for it. I know you took some notes down. But when did you start with thinking Go Rich? And how? what, what are some of the principles that you're using in your business today? I started like... Uh, the beginning of this year, I read the book, and every time I feel like a little bit down, I go to this book and open it and just read it over and over again. And this is the nice thing about Think and Grow Rich. You can read it over and over again to realize the thoughts that has been written in this book. And the strongest principle that, uh, not principle, it's, I thought he write it. It's a quitter never wins and the winner never quits. So as we always know on social media and how people get influenced by uh, something like number of the likes, the views and the followers, uh, people sometimes buy followers, likes and everything. You shouldn't be influenced by this. You should have the self-confidence of what you are, uh, of your talent. So this is the most important thing. I agree so, with that 100%. Winners usually don't quit. Or if they quit, yeah. I mean, they have to have gone really, really on a, on a really path that, that was very difficult. Yeah. And they usually tend to last long time. So here's my question. Okay. What is your suggestion? If somebody is starting, let's say another female is starting their business and things don't go well as is planned initially because you got to build a business, that's where a lot of people and most people struggle with. When they start, there is a lot of resistance. So what are some of the, your recommendations for individuals to survive that first phase so they don't uh -huh. get you should have the desire and the faith in yourself. Then, when you start doing the thing you love, you have to fall in love with failure. You're not gonna win at your first steps. You're gonna be failure over and over and over again. So you're not gonna win in a day and night. This gotta be a hard work and for a long term. And uh, Think and, and Grow Rich has mentioned a lot of stories. And this is the thing that I love about it. It, it says like true stories. Maybe if you didn't read these stories, you wouldn't believe that a really famous people took them so much long time to achieve what they have. So this will take a long time. Do not give up, just keep going. I uh, think every failure story should be a lesson to you to enhance your performance, to enhance what you are introducing with your talents. I agree with that 100%. And if, if you know the story of Thinking Go Rich, because you read it, you know, one of the key principles that Dr. Hill implemented with recommendation of Carnegie was that these individuals that were introducing as the experts in success principles must have been in business and successful over a span of over 20 years. Meaning, if uh, let's say you and I go into a business and if that business makes us millionaire in three years, that really doesn't mean we did much in great skill of success principles because we haven't done it over a long span of period. Exactly. Of so it's not just, you know, somebody comes like these days, uh, we make millionaires very fast. That doesn't yes. mean they know all the principles. Yes, we got to give them credit. They definitely go to work and, you know, they're innovative. They're bringing a, a new, you know, yeah. product to the marketplace. It makes sense. But one of the key elements within the book is that these individuals, must have been successful 
for a long span of period of time. It wasn't mm-hmm. just an overnight success. If you were exactly. not, if, if you were overnight success, that's good for you. But you may not have been into. You know, this will, this mostly not will last for a long time. Exactly. So that's what ends up. So here's what I like to know. I mean, my mom is a hairstylist. She's been uh-huh. in, in, in in that field for like 35 years. So wow. I know that business in and out. What is the most difficult thing when you start your own business for you, in your opinion? For me, the most difficult things for in my story that I didn't get the enough encouragement that I needed, but I had my own self. You know what I mean? Uh, so the most difficult things for being a mom of three girls so you can imagine that I don't have the time I was I was always pushing myself so hard and give the time to make what I love what I want so I was just fighting to to, to be there to get there and that's what I love about uh, my my job my my talent it's yeah always- that's three kids Three daughters, yeah. that's, I mean, I got only one daughter, and that's a full-time job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, yeah. I don't know how people do it. You know, it's it's amazing. Uh, yeah. It, you know, it's a, definitely a full-time job. It's not a it's not a part-time gig. You, exactly. you do that full-time. So, okay, so we said the first one is that you don't give up. What is the second principle that you think is important for people to know? Imagination. Okay, elaborate. What do you mean? Um, I had a really big imagination. Like, I'll be sitting in the living room and just the thoughts came into my mind. I do a sketch. I gather around all the stuff that I want to do and get prepared for what I want. Uh, also, the, what is it? The organized uh, thoughts. Everything is written down, so I have to write down everything in my mind. And once I have the chance to do it, I go do it immediately. I don't hesitate. That's one of the biggest things. Um, we were we were doing a video session with one of my uh, with one of the coaches, part of our organization, and we talked about that the other day. Is that when you write the goals down, you want to get to the action part very fast. Because if you keep thinking about it, you're going to talk yourself out of it. So it's extremely important yes. to go to the action right exactly. away. The longer it takes you to get it going, it you just... You will not do it. Exactly. It, the, the excitement, enthusiasm, all right. that stuff yeah. is going to go down. It diminishes yes. as the time goes by. That's why yes. so many people that are... I don't want to say... I don't want to categorize them, but the more logical people, the ones that are more like engineer type, they, they they think too much. Not that that is not good. You should be thinking. But once you have the plan, once you have your organization, yes, you once you it. have the team, you just got to go do yes. it. So yes, I agree exactly. with that 100%. Anything else that you'd like to share with us? Any other principle? Um, for principle, I think I want, I want to say something that there's people Unfortunately, that they give up very, very fast. Um, they feel like, oh, people doesn't like what I, what I do. People doesn't like, and they give up. Please, people, don't give up. You should push yourself so hard to get where you want. It doesn't happen in two years or three. It takes 10 years, maybe. So keep going on keep motivated and keep reading books motivation motivation books is so good really especially that uh, think and go rich it's really an amazing book and it really has uh, uh, thoughts that you will never thought of it so yeah definitely reading and studying thinking go rich and other books similar to it it's very crucial for your business and everything. Yes. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Um, thank you so hopefully much. we can do a lot more. Um, I saw some of your Instagram photos. They're amazing. Keep up the good work. It doesn't matter what other people think. 
as long as you love it, that that's all that matters. So exactly, you're, you're not here exactly. to please everybody. You, you yes. just have your own audience. You have your own clients. You service them, and that's it. If anybody else doesn't like it, it's totally fine. Nothing big deal. You know, they don't have to like everything that you do. So exactly. keep up the good work. I appreciate you taking this time and being with us this morning. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank Goodbye. you so much. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye.